Hey girlies, welcome back to No Pick Me's Allowed. We're going to watch this video about how this lady beat up her best friend at her baby shower. Let's keep watching. So, I was dating this dude for like three years. Like we were together for like three years and me and my best friend have been best friends for way before that, like 10 plus years, right? So, um, we end up getting pregnant at the exact same time and she ends up coming up with the story like she had a one night stand She don't know who her baby daddy is all these other things and like, you know, once I asked her like are you gonna keep it? because I'm never going to push anybody to Go to the clinic and send their baby back to God, but I always ask because where is your mindset? So I asked her like are you keeping the baby and she's like yeah, and I'm like, okay Like, you know, like, you know, you're gonna be you know what you know what you can handle, right? So whatever we both go through our pregnancy we were so excited we found out at the same time and it's getting closer to like our like six month and it's time to start planning our baby shower i have no fucking clue all the way up until this point that me and her like i, I don't question it right so because like why would you be a weird bitch so at the six month mark when we start planning our baby shower, she's like, I'm just not gonna have no baby shower. I've just been going through it mentally, emotionally. So the whole time I'm thinking that she's down and out because she's having a baby by this man, who, by somebody she don't know, right? Just, she's gonna be a single mom. She set herself up for this. Like she don't know who the baby daddy is, nothing. So I'm thinking that's why she going through a whole time the bitch going through it because we got the same baby daddy. Our mutual friends was like, oh, are you going to the baby shower? She told me she wasn't having a baby shower. That's how I'm gonna I pop up at the baby shower. Guess who at the baby shower cheesing? Oh, y'all want me to knock all this shit over? Not too much on my closure with this, which y'all want me to part two. Now, boom, let me tell y'all how I got to the baby shower. So once I find out that she's having a baby shower, I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location, right? So I'm like, oh, bet she the baby shower at her granny house. So I pull up to her granny house. I'm thinking nothing of it. Just like, why are you being a weirdo, right? So when I pull up, I see my baby daddy car because I know his license plate in the front yard. So I already just stopped, peeped the scene. So I'm like, all right, hold on. Before I even walk into this, let me go around the corner and I end up calling my cousins because we ride at dawn. So I call my cousins. They already on the way. They're like 20 minutes out. I call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this nigga is in this baby shower, I don't even know what he would be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody. And I shouldn't be putting my hands on nobody at six months. So we need reinforcements. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not fuck with his family. Right? Because they weird. I see his sister walking up. Oh, this is a family full of goofies. So I'm checking everybody's location and I see that they five minutes out. So I'm like, bet, let me walk up in here because I don't want nobody to know that I'm walking in on no BS. Like, they didn't need to know I was on bullshit, but I was on absolute bullshit. Immediately on bullshit once I seen that man car. Like, they don't even need to know what's up. So every, I walk in through the back gate and as soon as I walk in, I make eye contact with her and she just get, everybody look like they seen the ghost. I look my baby daddy dead in the face. He get up and sprint out the side gate. Oh, we gonna stand on business today. I, I, I can bet you that. I'd be Chase. Chase him till he run out of gas. I'm like, what's up? What my baby daddy doing here? And she like, oh, I'm so sorry. He told me he was gonna tell you. Something I'm, it's not making sense and you need to make it make sense right now. So she's like, he told me that he was going to tell you that we were having a baby. Ladies, this is why it's so important not to have friends that are pick -me's, right? Because if you have a girl that's boy crazy, she will care about boys more than your relationship. Mind you, this woman on our screen here, she's known this lady for a lot, a lot of years, right? And this woman is sleeping with her baby father how low as a woman can you be right so that's why it's so important when we're vetting men that we're vetting uh girls too ladies too right before we intertwine our lives with them 
We can't even be friends with Pygmishas. We can't. It's dangerous. As you can see, it's dangerous. Anyways, let's keep watching. So the first thing I do is swing and hit her in her mouth. So as I'm swinging, because I'm not stopping, she's like, no. So now everybody's trying to get me up off of her. And so now my cousin's running. They just see that people got me by my arms. Oh, melee. Everybody knew but me. Y'all want it. Y'all y'all baby shower theme should have been a circus because it was a bunch of clowns. Melee, instant, instant mayhem, instant chaos. So by the time whoever had my arm, which was I think his sister and his cousin, my cousins already came over and then knocked the Mario coins out they head because let go, right? So then she ended up running in the house and locking the door. So I couldn't even get to her no more. Don't worry about it though. So now I'm outside and my cousins, one of my cousins got her mama in the headlock because she was over there yapping, yapping her mouth, shut up. His mama trying to come up like, that's me, that's me. I suggest you get out of my face because why are you here? And where's your son at? Cause I'm gonna knock his head off his shoulders like the Volturi did Carlisle. At this point, I don't know where my baby daddy then ran to and I'm so confused because did you think he was gonna save you? I'm about to beat both y'all ass. My family comes from a long line of crash outs. Like, we've never been. So as we all leaving, I give my cousin my car keys and I hop in the car with my other cousin because I parked up the street and I cannot run. So they have pulled right up into the front of the house. So I hop in the car with my cousin. So I'm calling my brother because he never came in. I'm like, I'm like, where y'all, where y'all? He's like, we seen that nigga running out. And he hopped in the car. So we chased, we, we chasing him down right now. Y'all, they on the freeway following him he trying to get away so i'm like y'all just dead it just just let it go he got to come home we, <laughs> family meeting at my house so now at this point i'm already knowing people about to try to start acting like i'm the problem like oh destiny was tripping oh she was tripping she came in here and did all this did all this so now i'm at home trying to trying to process because i still have not processed everything so me and my cousins all go to my house and have a family meeting because I hope y'all beat everybody the fuck up that I couldn't get to. And I need to know who was there because I didn't pay attention to what homegirls was there who was just at my baby shower yesterday bringing a gift. She was just at my baby shower yesterday with a gift. So after me and my cousins is there, we sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in one spot, but they never came. Nobody ever caught the police because they know that they was dead out of the room. So fast forward to the next day. I was supposed to be at work yesterday. And I pull up to this girl granny house at a baby shower and you there and you run? I'm Ike. Still have no clue where this nigga went because I told my brother to just stop following him, right? So he ended up just coming to the house. So during our family meeting, we are going over what the we had went over all the gifts and now I'm reading all the names of the people who bought the gifts, y'all. His mom and bought the girl a gift, his aunties, his cousins, his um, sisters. This girl was supposed to be the god mom. Bitch, you turned out to be the stepmama. So I'm processing shit because y'all, this girl is like my best friend. I was supposed to be the god mom to her baby. And now I'm just trying to figure out how did this go on under my nose? Like I had no idea, blindsided. I'm like, the way y'all is in these comments is how I was, confused. I had questions, but lucky for y'all, I asked questions because one thing about me, you're gonna have to make shit make sense. I'm going to be able to play my role enough because I beat your ass once and I'm really gonna beat your ass when you, I was really gonna beat her ass when she had that baby. I wasn't gonna hurt nobody's child. I still my baby sibling. So the next day she's blowing my phone. I'm not answering. I I went a whole day with her blowing my phone up because like at the end of the day, how could you do some weird shit like that to me? Not you Ebony from the Players Club. I'm ignoring them for like two days straight, everybody. If you wasn't with, uh, with me whooping ass at that baby shower, I had nothing to say to you. If you wasn't my family, I had nothing to say to you. Everybody, y'all some weird mother I peep game and I want everybody fade when I drop this baby and that's just what it's gonna be. And I don't care and I'm gonna stand on that. So when the bitch called, when I finally answer the phone, the first thing she's gonna say is, 
and your cousin put my mama in a headlock, bitch, we have bigger fish to fry. So after the chaos and after the mayhem, now the hurt is starting to set in because there's no way that my best friend of 10 years is telling me that she's about to have a baby by the same man I'm about to have a baby by. Because at the end of the day, uh, my friendship is way more important than my relationship with any nigga. And y'all, this was my friend. Like, I never expected, I never seen it coming. And even when they was around each other, it was never like that because, like, I'm not a weird bitch. So, none of my home Listen, I know the girlies are like, well, if you trust your man, you should be able to leave anybody around him and it shouldn't be an issue. And if you can't leave a girl around your man and you call her a friend, that means you're insecure, girl. I don't care. It's about keeping home in order, right? And so if that man cheats on me and does me slime me, at least he's not doing it with my best friend. At least he's not doing it with a girl that I knew for 10, 20 years, right? At least, right? At least, like I'm not putting temptation right in his face, right? Because at the end of the day, we all know these men are dogs. That's why most of the girlies, when they're posting their men on the gram, they don't even show their face. They don't. And if they show their face, it's like, oops, he put a ring on it or oops, he put a baby in it. Like they wait until the relationship is solid because nowadays you just can't trust girls because everybody's out for themselves. So if you look happy and you look like, oh, you're being taken care of and you don't got to worry about so-and-so, you don't got to worry about a bill or two, these girls are after your man. I'm just, I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Yes, they are pick -me's. Yes, I'm supposed to be able to trust my man, but we all know these men ain't shit, y'all. We know that. So let's not make it easy for them, right? Anyways, let's keep watching. Homies have to watch me around their man because I don't want your man, especially after I hear and see the things that he do for you. So regardless of the, if you my friend and you hear me, even if I'm bragging on the sex, anything like that, that do not give y'all raggedy bitches the right to go try it out for yourself. So what you saying? You let him because he was fly? Because from our knowledge and us laughing and ha ha and kiki and you been laughing at his, about his mama wigs right along with me and his grandma dentures. But you gonna go have a baby and they all at the baby shower, ha ha and kiki. And so now like, I am devastated. I don't know what to do. Come to find out, I'm thinking we, she got pregnant after me. She two weeks pregnant, she two weeks in front of me. So you got her pregnant and then got me pregnant? Well, okay. I mind y'all still ain't talked to him. I still have not talked to him, so I'm just processing all this, processing all this. And I'm like, well, when did this happen and around what time frame? When did y'all even talk with each other? So she was like, it was about a year ago. We was already two years into our relationship. So two years ago, I'm just going back and I'm like, so it was around the time that you and your mom was getting into it and I was I was allowing you just to come stay at my house. Mind you, me and my dude didn't live together at this time, so he was just in and out too. Like, so it was just one day that she needed to go over there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, go over there. He over there. He'll open the door for you or whatever. I'm not a weird bitch. So I've never thought that I would have to watch my best friend of 10 years around my man, especially when you need me, like, especially when I'm trying to help you have a better situation right now and get a peace of mind. You gonna get a peace of mind? Anyway, girlies, I gotta make a part two. Stay tuned.